Hello, hello, Jeff Helvin here with Balan Brands. And today I wanna to show you how to save a global content element. So I wanna show you what that means here. I'm using Elementor, that's what we're building on today. And in Elementor, kinda of like what we're able to do with Gutenberg and content blocks, we're able to do the same thing with Elementor. And I wanted to show us how to, how to use this and really where we might use it as well. So we're gonna go ahead and jump in now. Um, I'm on a website here. This is one of our demo sites for our real estate websites. And wanted to kind of look at a certain content area that maybe we like, let's say the calls to action buttons here. And we don't wanna redo those over and over again. We wanna kind of have three major call to action buttons. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm logged into my WordPress admin, which gives me this little black bar up here at the top. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on edit with Elementor. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna load my page that I'm on in Elementor. And it has my Elementor control elements over here. And then I have these here. So there's a few things that we can do. Now in this particular case, the way these um, call to action blocks are set up. They're in what's called a section. So if you see when I hover over this little element here shows up and it is in a section. So this thin blue line highlights this whole area. And when I hover over here, these are all little elements within the section, uh, maybe called widgets, if you'd like to call it that. But each one of these is a separate component that's inside of the main widget here, this main section, I should say. So there's a couple different things that we can do here. Now, I can't save, if, I, if I'm if i trying to just do this, like it can save a, an element or a copy, right? And that's something that I actually could save just if I like this, maybe this male um, looking icon. I could actually save that as a global element, okay? But that's pretty simple, it's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the whole box. So I have two choices. One, in this case, I can actually hover over the section, right click on it and save as template. Now that does not put it over here in the um, in my widget area, doesn't put it here over in the global, because what it's doing is just saving it as a template. So I can drop that template in, the same little content area, into any section, any page on my website, and then I can make changes from there. But if I do that, it does not change the original one that I pulled it from. So let me give you an example. What a good use of this would be, maybe you like these three boxes, but you don't necessarily want those three boxes to be the same on every page. So we could save this as a template, then put it on another page and change these that are in there while on the home page they stay the same. So that would be one idea. And that's when I'm gonna save as a template, okay? So let's look at a different idea, something else that maybe we can um, use more specifically. So here's one, for example, see if I hover over this, it has just a little pencil icon, not this section. See how this whole thing's in a section, but this is an element within the section, okay? So if I click on this, that's my option to edit. When I click on that, it's gonna show up over here. But let's just say instead, I wanna actually save that as a global element. So I'm gonna name this one, latest three, or last three reviews. And I'm gonna save that. So it saves it as a global widget. Okay, so now you see over here, last three reviews. Okay, so that's different than, like I said, this as I save a template. Okay, I can save the whole area, anything that's within this box as a template, but again, that doesn't change it everywhere else. So I'm gonna use just this, what our clients say, okay, and we, and we save this as just uh, three, last three reviews. Okay, so now that I have that, let's go to a different page. I'm gonna click out of here. I'm gonna go to, let's say, About Us. Okay, so now we see some content here. I'm gonna go ahead and click edit with Elementor. And not only do I just wanna have about us, but I still, I also wanna go ahead and show some uh, testimonials on the about us page, seems appropriate. So I'm gonna go ahead and click global. I'm gonna drag this over here 
and you will see edit apply. So what that did is it's letting me know that it's connected to another one. So it's not just going to show it, it, sh it actually shows that it is connected to the other one. So I can't make the actual change here. Hopefully that makes sense to you. So it says your widget's locked. Edit the global widget to simultaneously update every place you used it. So again, it's not showing on the page. And I can edit the global widget or I can unlink it. And I'll show you what that means in a second. So if I go to preview changes, Excuse me, and it opens in uh, the little pop-up blocker. So let me go ahead and open that here. So if I preview changes, now you'll see it has this. Now the reason why this is happening is because it's the latest three um, testimonials, but I'm actually using a different style on the home page than I am on this page. So it doesn't necessarily carry over the styles. I might have different elements in that rest of that section that are controlling that but it is pulling the latest three um, testimonials here, okay? So let me go ahead and close out of that. So the other option is I can click edit the global widget, and this is what that global widget is. Now again, this one might not have been the best example because it's, a, it's actually a short code that pulls from one of our plugins, but if it's still, the still remains, you know, the same remains true where I, I'm able to actually pull in those last three. Okay, so that was if I want to edit it. Now, if I don't want to edit it, I can unlink it. This will make the widget stop being global. It'll be reverted into being just a regular widget. So if I hit unlink, now it just displays this on the page. So now it's just a regular widget. So it's no longer attached. So kind of like I mentioned with the template, if I were to save the section as a template that it doesn't affect the other ones, I have the option here. That's what's really cool about this. Uh, you may decide that, you know, I really like it as the global thing, but now I want to break it off. So you can like change your mind later and it, you don't have to redo everything, which is super cool. So that's just an example of how we can use those global widgets. So again, just to, just to kind of recap here, right? I can take any element, right click on it, save it as global. And if I save it as global, I can then drop it anywhere else on the website and I can choose to have it the main global one, or I can break it off as something separate. So a lot of dynamic features here with Elementor, which is why we've gone all in on Elementor here with a lot of different, um, you know, a lot of customizations we can make because we're all different. We don't all necessarily want the exact same thing, but we do need a powerful platform that can help keep up with our changes. So if you have any questions on that, by all means, please write, reach out to us at team at balanbrands.com.